Should I marry a realtor if I want to buy a house? This is Danny Antello, and this is my weekly advice. Your weekly advice. Do not marry a realtor if you want to buy a house, because we can be a little bit crazy. But definitely sign a buyer representation agreement if you're serious about buying a property. Here are eight reasons why. Number one, access to market data. While some of the data in the MLS is accessible to the public, the majority of it is not. Number two, investment analysis. If the property is going to be rented or held for appreciation or development. Number three, assistance in cutting out unsuitable properties. Buyers will spend a lot of time looking at neighborhoods and properties that do not fit their criteria. Number four, assistance in obtaining financing. Buyers agents will have a number of trusted lenders for referral which is preferable to the random selection of a lender online. Number five, assistance with negotiations. The buyer's agent stands between the buyer and the seller, which allows the buyer to thoughtfully consider offers and counter offers. Number six, assistance in preparing offers and negotiating strategies. Number seven, assistance with surveys, inspections, repairs, and many of the other details that must be taken care of in order to close the sale. And number eight, which is last but not least, TREC, which stands for the Texas Real Estate Commission, does not allow agents to do any of the things that I just talked about without a representation agreement in place. We normally sign these agreements for three to six months, but these terms can be flexible depending on the buyer situation. Are we ready to sign a rep agreement and start a serious home search? Contact me today. This is Danny Antello, and stay tuned for more weekly advices. Your weekly